What is going on guys? Welcome to a quick tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can customize and change any texture pack that you want to. You guys know that I use the Sawtech Fanver, but I use the customized version that I customize myself. And a lot of people ask me for the download for that, but I can't provide that because the texture pack creators don't like it when texture packs are repackaged and uh, distributed to other people they don't like it so what I'm going to do is show you a quick tutorial on how you can customize any texture pack yourself so if there's textures you like from another texture pack you can grab them and put them into a texture pack that you want and make your perfect texture pack so that's what I'm going to show you today so the first thing you need guys is to download the texture pack that you want to edit so today we're going to edit the Sawtech Fanver so if you want to get Faithful or you want to get Mises or you want to get um, Sfax or Flow HD any of them texture packs that you want to edit download them now and save them to your desktop but like for the purpose of this video we are going to do the Sawtech Fanver so download and save to your desktop and that's what I've done right here we've got the Sawtech Fanver right there the next thing you're going to want to do is to download the textures or the texture pack that you want to take textures from so for example on my Facebook page I give all the custom textures that you can use so if you go to the about section on my Facebook page and then you go to texture packs stuff right here and it's got a download for the custom tools that I use and a download for the custom textures that I use so download both of them if you want to use that for Sawtech Fanver and save them to your desktop but let's say for example you like the wood in Faithful and you want to use that wood in Faithful and put it into your own texture pack go to the Faithful uh, forum page and download the version that you want to use and save that to your desktop as well so right now on our desktop we have the texture pack that we want to edit which is Sawtech Fanver and then we have the free download Downloads of the textures that we want to put inside Sawtech Fanver. Now to do this guys you're going to need a zip program either WinZip, WinRAR or 7-Zip. Um, to get them I will put the downloads in the description that's so you can open these files here. As you can see these files have like a weird little icon with the books and stuff so that is just WinRAR. It's a program called WinRAR. I'd recommend you use that because it's the easiest one for me in my opinion. So go and download that and then you'll be able to open these files. So once you've got all that stuff that you need what you need to do is, is open up the texture pack that you want to edit. So we're going to edit Sawtech Fanboy. So I'm going to open this up right now. So double click on it and it will come up like this. And as you can see, there's like files and stuff. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> files and stuff. Let me move these over quickly. There's files and stuff in here like assets, changes. And some of you might see this and think, oh, that's a bit confusing. You don't know where to go or where to put the files. It's pretty straightforward if you follow this correctly. So once you open up the texture pack, you want to click on assets and then you want to click on Minecraft and then you want to click on textures. And now this is all where all the textures are, are in your texture pack. So this is the way you want to change stuff. So if we go through it slowly, it's pretty straightforward. You've got blocks. These are all your blocked textures. Like, for example, look, uh, glass black. That is the glass black texture right there. Um, uh, hardened clay stained red so that's cl red clay right there um, it's pretty straightforward guys and you've got a uh, jukebox side iron ore let's see iron ore right there that is the texture for the iron ore see you see what I mean guys it's pretty straightforward if you want to find stuff they're named pretty well so you can find them pretty easily um, let's find diamond ore show you guys quickly just to prove that I'm in the right place there we go diamond ore there you go there's your diamond ore so that is the texture pack we want to edit so we're going to leave that open so we're going to go back click on these two little dots here to go back to the page that you was on and that's where you want to edit all the stuff now what we're going to do is open the files where <clears throat> we want to get the textures from so for example my Sawtech fan for tools are right here so I open this here and it says big 87x Sawtech fan for tools and then there are all the tools there that you can use so we want to put these tools into our texture pack so we go to this area here which you, which again is let me go back to the beginning so you go assets minecraft textures and then when we get to the textures we want to go to items because items are where the tools are so it's pretty straightforward guys if you want to change a block you go to the blocks folder if you want to change the item you go to the item folder it's pretty easy so again we have diamond axe so this is what the diamond axe looks like that we want to put in our texture pack right there the diamond axe that is in the texture pack we have now is this one so it looks slightly different we want to use the other ones so what we do we highlight all these like that uh, we don't need that one there so we highlight all these and then we drag them over click OK 
and that's it the texture pack is customized you now have the tools in your texture pack so we close that we don't need that anymore so let's say we want some of the custom textures or some of the custom textures that i created as well so we get open that file and it says uh, big Z7 net sort of fan for custom textures so these are the textures that i have um you've got some tv some speakers a mirror some glowstone and stuff like that a cupboard and things these ones are a little bit um different because some of them are pictures and the picture file are separate but if you want a block like a glowstone block here we go to blocks and we glowstone is definitely in here so let's double check there it is um glowstone right there see that is what the glowstone file looks like my one's slightly different you drag that oh, drag that in there and now we have the glowstone in there what you might want to do for glowstone is delete this file here because sometimes people say the glowstone comes up pink and black so you want to delete that file there that underneath it the it was called mcta data or something like that delete that one and it should work but there we go guys um that is how simple it is so let's do the final one so we want to get some textures from the faithful texture pack and put it into our texture pack that we're using right now so we open up faithful again it's going to be the same layout so we need to go to assets minecraft textures and then we need to go to whatever we want so let's say we want some textures from the blocks so we go to blocks and we want the wood textures from faithful so let's try and find the wood textures so i'm think, pretty sure they're going to be called wood or wooden planks or something um no they're not called wooden planks see this is always going to take guys you just need to find w what the blocks are called and then you can just drag them over and it is as simple as that at the moment i can't find the wooden planks i think they'll be called birch planks spruce planks stuff like that um are they called that? I'm not even sure. Okay, guys, being totally blind there for a second. I found them right here. They're called planks. Pretty straightforward. Planks, spruce, planks, oak, planks, jungle, planks, birch, planks, big oak, and acacia. So we want all the planks from Faithful, and we want to put it in our texture pack. So make sure we're in the same folder. We're in the blocks folder. So we want to copy these here. So highlight them and drag them over, and then that they will be in our texture pack. So once we've got all the textures that we need guys and we've finished editing our texture pack we just need to close it all down and then delete the textures that we don't need anymore we don't need faithful and we don't need them custom textures so we just need to delete them and then we need to open minecraft so pretty straightforward and leave our texture pack that we edited on your desktop right there so just leave it there because we're just going to put it in our texture pack folder now some of you might know how to put it in your texture pack folder it's pretty straightforward but once you open minecraft and it all loads up you want to go to options resource packs and open resource pack folder and then we need to get this and drag it in there and the minecraft sounds are really loud close that and it should if i click done here and then open it back up it should appear in there so there we go sortec fanver click done and it should have our custom textures that we just put into the game so if i go into this world here uh, has it got the faithful wood yep there we go the fact the wood has changed to the faithful wood right there so that definitely looks like faithful texture pack has it put the tools and stuff in yes it has it's put all my tools in and stuff like that so there we go guys that is how simple editing a texture pack is on minecraft and the music is so annoying <laughs> let's turn that down so if you have any questions guys feel free to ask in the comments it is very very straightforward just make sure you're putting the stuff in the right folders that's all it is get the texture pack that you want to get the textures from put it into the texture pack that you want them in and then make sure they're just all in the same folders blocks go in the block folders items go in the items folder you guys know the difference between blocks and items right these are all blocks right here anything else like redstone levers tools and stuff are items so just find the right file and then put it in the right folder but guys um i hope this really helped you and i hope you can now edit your texture packs again this works with any texture pack that you want so you can do it with any texture pack um thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you again in another tutorial